What's your uh, what's your current progression, Kayla? Give me a seven out of ten. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Right Is about where we're at then. Didn't we kill Council on Heroic? We did. Yeah, yeah. So seven out of ten. Good evening, friends. Good evening. Can we go in now? Yeah. So we're, we're, I think we pick up at Sun King tonight, Kayla. Yep. And you have fire down or Daz? Yeah. I haven't heard anything from Daz. By bad, didn't you say he wasn't going to be on tonight? And Con Snick said would be on in about seven thirty. Yeah. Give us enough time to get through this trash. Hang on. Make sure my shit. Uh huh. Hey, can you summon me back? Well, actually, I can just do it with my. My steward. Oh, get my God. get my get my talents um, fixed. Uh, would you break? I'm already in flight. Sarah, can we get a closet up there? Thank you. Hey, mailbox. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I was beaming earlier, but I'm serious now. I'm robbing the old bank, but I'll repay him. Of what? I've got. Well, that's nice, but I still need some of my death, deathly fixations. Okay. And did somebody make a cauldron? I can't make a cauldron yet. Uh, Bad said you. He had flask. I have some flask. I also have armor kits for people. Yeah, I can make flask. I mean, I could probably. How many? Let me see. I just don't have. The, actually, I do have the shades. If I have, I can make a cauldron. See, I could make one. I don't have shade stone. I can't make shade stones yet. I I'll need just, to do that. I'll just make a cauldron. And how many are we? Well, you want to wait. So we have I more i would well we've got two people that can hold extras that won't need them well actually never mind yeah let's wait till we get to the bosses and worry about it let's just kill some trash on the way and get there this group can i get a summon back and we need to summon aliana in as well yeah check out it there you are Does anybody need me to buy them anything while I'm at the auction house? Oh, I need a box of those, um, what do you call them? We used to eat them all the time back in the day. Bon bon. Which reminded me of a much worse joke. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going with. <laughs> What's that shit we used to eat back in the day? You know? Pussy! Yeah, that was it. Movie was that from? I can't remember. Half baked. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I was quoting. I was waiting for somebody to get it. <laughs> I got it, but I wasn't sure. I was like, hmm. It said box, and I guess that should have been clue. Go pull, man. Okay. So for future, as long as we're going to not do a second night of the progression run, I think Thursdays are probably best. We may need to rediscuss because I, you know, we seem to have upset people unintentionally. Um, or maybe we can do something with. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe doing some alt stuff on weekends too, just kind of ad hoc. But whatever. Um, but I'll try to send out actual calendar invites to people for this in the future. Like I said, we kind of got just thrown off this week because I was hoping to talk with Ober and Soul. Obviously, they're not going to be back yet, so I apologize for the kind of last minuteness of this. Um, but I think we got a good group. We can 
hopefully get some pulls done on uh, Sludge Fist this evening. We'll see how it goes. Are we ready to pull trash? Yeah. All right. Just need one at a time there, Dirt. Something to do. Yeah, you know. It's done. What'd you do? Trap. Oh. Lucky. Crash dies so much faster with just 10 people in here. Yeah. Everything does. So, if we do another alt run, we could do it uh, Monday before reset. I mean, we've all got the skip. We could do Sludge Fist, uh, Stone General, and Denathria. What? What are we, what are we talking about? I. I don't know that I necessarily want to plan one because this is going to be quite a bit, but as a general rule, just kind of depends on, for me, just I'm perfectly okay if we've got people who just need stuff and we want to try to put a small group to together and I'm on and let's ask. If somebody wants to plan one besides, then... <clears throat> uh, I mean, however, I don't care. Look, I got Sarah back into this game, so we're going to be free most nights. Yeah. I gotcha. We don't have lives. No more Hallmark movies? What the? Who watches Hallmark movies? Yeah. <laughs> Those two things that I liked about her when I first met her. She didn't no more... do crawfish and no Hallmark crap. I don't do no more true books. crime drama? Yeah. You got, somebody, you got a loose guy in the back there. At this point, we're just going to have to Wanda watch WandaVision ourselves and then, like, start in the same episode and talk about it later. That's another cosplay I need to do in the snow before it goes away. Is what we did on Tuesday not enough for the people, for certain people? I must have missed that part of the conversation. No, I think it was with Ozzy. He, he raids with another guild on Tuesday. That's like their mythic progression. Um, I'm going to pull them around the corner. Why doesn't he join us for our Sunday night run? Because or... they... Because his main is Horde, and that's when they raid. Yeah, because he said his two characters that he has, one of them is about item level 200 and the other is 188, so he's not really geared to do anything except with the ult. I mean, that's not 100% true. I mean, we have people with lower item levels that run with our main group. Yeah, well, My, I mean, the, th the thing is, if he's accurate in what he's saying about what progression they're doing, I think his talent would... I, I think we just ought to give him a shot when I'm just saying. If he doesn't can't do it, then yeah. it's a whole different thought. I mean, if they're no, progressing... I, I don't mythic, disagree. I mean, if he's in Mythic pushing, like, he's not... He says, if you can show us how to do fights on Mythic to prepare, I'm all for it. Yeah, I, I don't mind having him in here. I just, yeah. What spec does he play on his druid? I don't remember. I think he, I think he's all healed over. and DPS. I, I, I don't remember. That's been a long time ago. I mean, do we want to invite him in here tonight? See how he does. Whoa. 
if he's available. He was just in here. Like, he left to go do alt stuff, I thought. That's what he was saying. I'm, I'm, hmm. Let me look. Oh. He's on my real ID. I don't want to. I mean, but with that throw off He's on Billy Jack right now. That's Billy Jack. Yeah, that's what he's wanting. It's his demon hunter that he said is like 188. Demon hunters. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't like the 188. But I mean, if he wants to bring the 200 druid, I'd be okay with that. I don't know. Calm down, chain lightnings. Right. Maybe I read it wrong, but isn't Chain Lightning getting buffed in 9.05? Good, I can't. It, it's like, my AoE is horrible just because it. I don't see how... I don't see how Cryptoon pulls those numbers on those because my Chain Lightning is just crap. Mm. Anybody else see the things they leaked about the next raid tier? Yep. What they say? And what they say? What they say? I just offline. Um. Well, it's gonna be looks like a tour gas raid, if I'm reading that right. And also, they're gonna introduce another one of those like mega dungeon kind of things, like a mechagonish type thing. Yeah. yeah. Eight sure bosses we'll split into two different keys again. Yeah, it will in nine point. Also, ha. Oh. Did y'all see Anduin's model? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. what? No, no, it's a spoiler. Uh, He's pretty. Yeah, that's it. No, that's all. Well, kind of. If you've been watching the cinematics, you kind of know where they're going with that. He's just yeah. a young, pretty man. <laughs> just everyone watch tomorrow. There'll be a trailer for it. Too pretty for prison. My little boy king. <laughs> a BlizzCon line. We already check in here if we want to talk spoilers. I'm okay with it. I don't want to spoil anybody's tomorrow. Yeah, four o'clock, or it's two Pacific time. I might be at work, Ben, so I probably won't be on. Oh. You can spoil away. Alright, no spoiler. Oh, is that what that was? It was a spoiler. Asking who's okay with spoilers. But if you, I mean, y'all are talking blue posts, so I'm okay talking blue posts. Well, they leaked the blue post early. It, it shouldn't have been posted till tomorrow, like at five. Yeah. And the instead, only, it posted today. The only DPS that got nerfed was uh, healing, was resto, lava burst, I think. Or shamans, anyway. And Snick, the only, the, the reason why I can pull that with my lightning bolts is because, or my lot, or chain lightnings is because I only cast chain lightning when it's in power by uh, Master Elements. Yep. Okay. Especially when you have Stormkeeper procs. If you can cast a Stormkeeper Chain Lightning with Empower, it's a monster. Got the purple.
that everybody in here? Except a card, I think. No, I meant mobs. Get any BOEs out of any of that? None. Boo. Hold my pack right here. So much damage. Yeah, no battle rest. Womp womp. I don't know what that Okay, someone's left eye to see the realms you've seen. Front right? Yep. Okay. You have to tell daddy. What did he say? Get a lot of shiny stuff. No BOEs. Hey, what do you want to eat? Wrath is your most potent sin, Sunstrider. It will serve us. This one's pride and arrogance are legendary. Come, let us deprive Genathrius of his prize. Mm -hmm. As a bit of an officer, right? Do what? Juan Far is an officer, isn't he? Correct. Yeah. yeah, so he he knows he he knows what we're doing. They've been told about you may not just remember. Well, did we ever hear back from Daz? Kalik said that he was he had he didn't know about tonight. So, okay. Khan said he might be a while. He's got to mow the yard. He must have mowed it pretty quick. Yeah, he just came on. It's dark outside. Wait, how is he supposed to mow the yard? There's only ice, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think a flamethrower, maybe? <laughs> Seems legit. <Wow. laughs> Today. Excuse me. Well, do we want to try this with four healers, one tank? Or with three healers, two tanks? Dude, last week we one tanked it. That's how we downed it. Yep. It's, yeah, a, smaller group. it's a smaller group. I guess I'm back. I need to change a couple times. Do you want me to soul stone somebody? Me. You. <laughs> me. That might actually be the best in case I get too many stacks of something. Me dying and rezzing may be the better plan. <laughs> so. Actually, soul stone derp. Yeah. Soul stone derp, because if derp goes down, then we don't have a ba another battle res. Well, you get other soul stone. Right? Well, yeah, 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 but. He can always not use it or whatever, and we can get felony back up. Yeah. Hey, did you feed the kid? Do I need to go in there and make a sandwich real quick? Oh, uh, kid's fed. Okay. Okay. Um... Kid's got like a bucket of Oreos. He, a bucket of he Oreos. Wishes he could have a bucket of Oreos. He would be <laughs> so happy. 
I want a bucket of Oreos. All right. <laughs> Does anybody need? We're gonna go that way. Anybody need an armor kit? I could use one. Open Snake could use one. Me. Open trade with felony if you need one. Thank you. Anyone else? Hey! Y'all ready? Uh. Yes. Yes. I thought we weren't going to raid tonight. We're doing our push heroic. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'll we'll be in. I'll be able to. Hey, Allie, were you in here for our heroic kill last week? I was not. So, one of the things that I went over with the healers that sort of helped, I think, push the group forward was is that because this is such a healing intensive fight or healing fight the main objective is to burn through your mana in that first phase and in the third phase yeah uh, is everybody here for cauldron so we're, we're like the healers aren't in a conserved mana in that phase you want to be at least just below 50 by the time we push him into his uh, shade phase In other words, burn all the big buttons, go balls out. Yeah. Okay. So, and we've got uh, me and you as healers. So, um, pretty much right off the bat, I'm going to cast like three or four spells, and then I'm going to throw mana type down. Um, and then I'll, after mine drops, I'll call out for your mana tide, and that way we just have a good start with mana tide. Perfect. Time to. Hit it and it says I got. I guess I. Where the hell did it go? It says I picked one. There, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. So. I guess first thing off the bat, then we'll grab him, try to get interrupts on the occultist so that they can, I can get them grouped up in the middle. Um, yeah, and then we want to do the channeling healing as fast as possible. Ideally, get him, get him out before we even get a rockbound vanquisher out. I'm not sure. Did we ever get one without a rockbound bank of sure? We just had one. We had one. Yeah, we still had the one to deal with. Yeah. Other what are you guys up to? Push the road. No one here. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave a message at the bait. We're pushing heroic. How's it going? Well, that's yet to be determined. Do you guys like need a, a mage or something or should I just go play cyberpunk? I don't know. Well, the problem is, is that a couple people got ported to some weird places last time yeah. we had you in here. <laughs> me <laughs> okay yeah there may have been like seven portals on top of each other i think i went to theramore i i think a couple of apologies are in order <laughs> i'm sorry i put down like seven portals that's funny that really does not sound sincere i'm just saying
Are you guys uh, like, are really you, mad about you, that or what? No, no, no. <laughs> are, 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 you, are, you, are, you, are you interested in coming? This is an extra credit group. We're going to try and kill bosses uh, that we are in with full intent on going back and re-killing them with the main group Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah. So if, if you're okay with that, then you, you're, you're more than welcome to join us. Yeah, you can't, you can't bail out a Sunday because you came tonight. Uh, I don't really like have anything else going on. I, it's either this or I'm just going to play Cyberpunk. So, yeah, sure, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, if you want to invite, let's do it. Look, we're trying to keep the group small and specific, and we're kind of changing things out, but... Well, I'm I'm cool with not coming if you guys would prefer. No, I mean, I'm I, just I'm not gonna you... get like salty or anything. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you that just so you know when people are asking or whatever. We're we're fine with you coming. Um, okay. So. Yeah, but you have to parse. You have to you have to parse at least in the sixty to eighty percent, or or you instantly get booted from the group. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> Which means Snake will get booted right after this pool. <laughs> Yes, that means Snick's leaving shortly. There's only one mate getting kicked from that group, and it's not Zekron. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try running a live log and see what happens there. I've been curious about it. I've never run one before, but I see the option every time it kicks on. Did anyone here <clears throat> run logs last night besides Crip? Because my logs updated super early. I think. Oh, that's I think, not how that works. I think, I think Khan's been running logs in the background. Yeah. Yeah, if y'all think how to find an archive, I can pull them. I just don't know how to find them once they're archived. There's a there's a cauldron down. Go ahead and grab that. Yeah. You guys grab probably, it, but use it up. Probably do it quick, Zekron. I have has kind of defiled it, but you know. Yep. Bear in it. I'd go ahead and gra grab two if you can. And do you need an armor kit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is just like Crip was saying, this is extra credit, and we were doing it based on logs and whatever. So it's not just everybody in the guild just come along. Like, we are specifically trying to progress and get things down so when we go back with the main raid group, we can actually have the fights down, know what we're doing, and help the main raid progress a little easier. So... And on that note, we're going to run the same way we did uh, last week. So try to interrupt, get all these things rounded up. I'm going to one tank it and let's just channel and heal the shit out of uh, Kelthos and get him down uh, in shade phase as quick as possible. I've got a minute cooldown on, wait, a three minute cooldown on Guardian. I feel like that's wrong. Shouldn't I have a one minute? Somebody said I got a one minute. You're supposed to have a one minute. Well, I don't change the talents unless. You soul tells me to so which one is it y'all know well hang on let me look you have the right one so it's gonna read three minute and when you cast it on him and then obviously he doesn't die so the thing's technically not consumed it'll immediately go to one minute oh okay there we go we good. alrighty did we hero when the shade came down and the yes. kill okay that's Didn't what I thought still uh Still flashing this thing. Pop two and grab another. Oh, yeah. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Critical's traitors! Gods, stop them! Try to interrupt those on the side. Man of Tide. Yeah, I need to start streaming. Hey, man, if you haven't done it, 
get on it. More of those fools seek to hinder us. Do not allow them to interfere. Kill us 42, 43, 44. Vanquisher is down. He's faced. All right, let's kill these two as quick as we can here. So, you must be engulfed in Fire consume you. We get caught up as soon as he uh, is done being a yes. cute little My angel. Power. Vanquishers down. Soak. Top-down view gives you a better view of where that kind of frontal cone is going. So group one and group two. Group one is on the left side of the podiums uh, for the infusers, and group two is on the right side. Oh, my bad. Uh, just for the infusers. Yeah, vanquishers out. So do you want to group one where? I got three stacks on me. From the Vanquisher? Yeah, he's almost dead. Vanquisher dies, let's get the pillars. Vanquisher is dead. Fuser. Yep. More of those fools seek to hinder us. Do not allow them to interfere. Where are we at? 70? Got another vanquisher out. About to push him. We get me out of time. Pushed. Ah, uh, come on. Shit, down. Metamorphosis just came out. I got, him. I got him. Although I ain't gonna live for shit. Get sacked up. I'm assuming we don't have a battle res. Nope. Focus on Kael'thas and avoid. Not cool, not cool, not cool. Okay, I'm just gonna run away. Go, go, go. You must be joking. God, if I'd had two more seconds, I would have had a meta back up. Y'all got this. I still have soul stone. Come on, so. guys. He's almost dead. Get him, get him. Woohoo! Woo! That's it. Good job. <laughs> no shit. I, like I said, I still got soul stone, so I can get you guys. I like that. I like that. A one shot. A messy, messy one shot, but a one shot nonetheless. But you cannot escape your own deeds. Come with me, and I will help you find a Thanks, sir. 
Ooh, I gotta get out of this holy spec. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh. Snick, do you want to do rolls for stuff we don't need? Sure. Or a smaller group, but we can. I can find you in here. Where the hell are you? I'm the puppy dog. So it's still only two pieces. Like you don't like yeah. you need a trinket. I need that one. I yeah. I was really hoping for the trinket off this guy. Like the trinket off this would have been wonderful. I've been doing yeah. LFR even just just to have it. <laughs> Can't even get it there. Okay, main spec first. I don't know. Because I know some of us are not going to necessarily need a lot. So if anybody need main spec. All right. Then for me, it would be a sideways upgrade. Yeah. My, it's a sideways upgrade for me because it's best stat. Okay. So everybody with a sideways upgrade hit a roll. Ooh, look at that roll. Yeah, babe. Oh, you really I'm just getting the bad rolls, rolls out of the way first. Though. Hey, see, it's only down. a two for me. Down, down. So, so far, Farg of Seacron has it. Don't feel like rolling from one to five today. What else did we get? Oh, a chest. Nice. Yeah, I uh, I was just gonna keep the chest, but it was only for the transmog. I looked at everyone in the group. It didn't seem like anyone might need it. If you don't, I need it for my dungeon set, but that's just a separate thing. I my guess dungeon. I don't have any strong feelings about it. Unless somebody else actually needs it. Like I said, mine's, mine's a 200 for my dungeon set. For me, that that cloak is just a... Uh, it goes from mastery to crit, so it's just it's not that big of an upgrade for me. But it's it's mainly just a stat change. And somewhere I got a okay a cloth got a cloth chest two thirteen crit mastery. Nice. Thank you. Both. BOE. Very nice. Actually, you mail BOE is here. Did we get one? Nope. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't think I saw one. Sure, and don't let him cast Dinner Bell. I've got whatever the next interrupt needs to be. Yeah, yeah. Nothing turns out. Does anybody else, whenever you go play an alt for a while, it seems like it takes a minute for you to get back in your flow of your main? Uh, on occasion. Depends on how different my alt is from my main. I used to try and heroic leap on my priest a lot. It didn't work out. Yeah. Well, just like I am keep trying to do my grappling hook, and, you know, mm. for some reason it's just not working very well. Yeah, so... so it's yeah, like that. Ow. What? If I, I got go assassinated. Tank, if I go, uh, if I go tank on my death knight and then come back to my demon hunter, I keep trying to uh, 
whatever and grip people in it doesn't work on a demon hunter so much yes yes um i think i should probably go single target for this fight i'm gonna hurt that real quick if you guys can yeah uh, i'm really glad that we're actually getting gear people can put on even if it's slight upgrades don't talk to me about gear <laughs> I know. we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you that trinket right now buddy That's i want to be there happen. it has to be tonight because i want to be here I, I gotta see it what sucks is you can't use that trinket like on sledge fist because <laughs> you can't move around like that how far the, do you have to move for it the, the movement really isn't that much I, i've had some that are like it's just yeah, it's a little it's a little quirky the nice thing though is is that you can cast it wait for all four to come out and then just do your little round and then pick them all up at the same time all right we, they, we, they, they don't dispel very quick all right we need to talk about something for a minute because okay. I'm not going to start taking a bunch of heat because I'm getting a lot of whispers from people about the alt run. So here, here is my thought and here's my solution and you tell me what you think. Because we started the second night to try to get everybody through and get them to the end. What is the thought of possibility of maybe even starting early? Which I know right now is easy because nobody is working because it's all... Are running long so that we could see if we can get it down to one night and just do a full clear or the aim of a full clear i would mean the, the aim, the, the aim sound is, even doable. i mean because i don't want to leave people out and i don't want i mean they want to get through just like everybody else does there's only three bosses we didn't do yeah yeah and i don't disagree with you like if we extended it half an hour Yep. Even we could go ahead and kill all 10, but that's not going to change the. But here, here, here's my just... thought. Use, I think most everybody has killed the first couple of bosses. So even if we started off at 7 30, which, you know, for me, raid time is 8 o'clock. Uh, everybody's yeah. on a different time. But if we started off 7 30 and just kill the first two bosses and people just start jumping in as they come in, I think we literally could get the whole thing done in one night. So this is, the, this is my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but the, the reason we extended it to a second night was because there were things on Denathrius and the stuff that we weren't doing in, Correct. in the regular run that Correct. weren't getting covered. So that's why we started with the last three bosses plus Shriek Queen. And uh -huh. then we can move over to Council, Artificer, and Sun King so that everybody's still getting the first three bosses on or on Heroic. The gear's better in there anyway. And yep. then and, and that's the deal is the first five bosses at this point are moot for the are, are pretty much everybody. Right. I think what he's saying is the only crap we got left, nobody really needs. Yeah, yep. and so we've killed them over and over. So if they have a question about the main run and you're getting slack, just send them to me and say, we're doing it one night a week. And because that's the way we've always done it. We extended it to two nights to get the last two bosses. But now that we can start with the last two bosses, it's not needed to do a second night anymore. Yeah. Yep. And if they have any questions, just send them to me. Okie dokie. And if we if we do do it three hours, it's we, we could do it in two and a half. I mean, we, yep. we could clear that full raid, and I'm completely fine with it. Because Denethrius still has upgrades for this tune. Yeah. That's, that's the deal, is this run is not taking away from anybody else's ability to do things. They get to do heroic with the main group, just like we do, and they get to do normal with the alt run. We're just going back to our original schedule because we can get to the last two bosses now. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, Frida? My interrupt is, crap, my screen just blanked. Um, my interrupt's 12, 12 seconds. And I basically, if somebody will get them with me, um, I could literally get every other one. Sometimes every one, but a lot of times every other one. So if somebody can do with me, I can alternate with somebody and then y'all not even bother with Frida. Yeah, just make sure we call them out before so everybody knows and we don't waste them. Yeah, I'm okay with the mages and hunter in particular not worrying about interrupts because there's your longer slash whatever i know both 
both of us as tanks have pretty short interrupts and one of the two of us should be near her at all times. And so if we've got you and that, we'll just call it out. And if we run into a situation where she's about to start one and for whatever if, reason, nobody's near, we'll, we'll just call out yeah. for an emergency. Somebody please interrupt. So. Yeah. And so if something happens and I screw up and I blow my cool down and it's not working, I'll call for an interrupt. But other than that, I will try to get every other one. Okay. Yeah, and so, remember, remember during that third phase when we just have Rita out, that she leave you leave red pools on the ground. They do dis they do disappear after a while. So there's the red circle that just pops, and then you move out of it. And then there's the one where she casts the little like red lines. Those you need to keep moving because you're constantly dropping pools behind you. Yes. So. Uh, Kalik, I know you have not run this with us as a guild before here. Um, so for the most part, range is going to stack up kind of where everybody's standing now. We're going to tank one about where Zekron is standing. That's where uh, Niklaus, which was the first target, is going to go. Frida should be close, and then Stavros will be kept over on the left side of the room. Range will stack up here. Obviously, melee will be closer. So if you get the everyone find your dance partner thing, just kind of run back towards the middle of the room. That way y'all can just run towards the back, but not through everybody standing in the middle of the room. Um, we're going to lust as soon as Niklaus goes down. So that's Was that what we did? Yeah. Yes, yeah. 50. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll and... we'll lust when Nick Klaus goes down. So basically, we'll get the first fifty with lust, and then we'll come back from the dance macabre with another lust, basically to finish getting Stavros down. Melee, try and stay on uh, Nick Klaus the whole. Don't switch over to the attendant. Range should be able to get the attendant down without you guys having to come off the boss. Yeah. And or the attendant will get to you, and if it does, yeah. just cleave on it. And uh, there's six dance moves on heroic. Yep. Anything else you feel like we need to throw in here? Don't be afraid to throw an extra self heal on yourself if you get low, if the stacks get high. Uh, who do you want to start with, Dirt? No, oh, whatever. Uh, I can hold free to the whole time if you want. Sure. So oh, make puts sure. me on Nick. So you'll start with Nick? Yep. Okay, I'll start with Stavros, and I think we're ready. I'll let you do the pool timer. Okay, you just let me know uh, when you're two stack, because I, I don't have you focused yeah. for this. I have her. Yep, I got you. Can't do this shit as a gnome. Uh -huh. Beware. Who's got the first thing around? Use mine. Somebody get her. Somebody get her. Who? For my life. Somebody get her. I got that. Got it. Beware. I got this. Zekron got down. Attention! Beware. For the dance macabre. Oh, that's nice. Why wouldn't it be way back here? Mine's way. I'm just right up here in front. I think they know I'm a better dancer. Jimmy, right! Uh, Two, two up front where everyone can see you. Three. Jimmy, right! Four. 
Five, I'm getting dizzy. Six. I almost went right. A couple of guys on Stavros. Okay. It's my interrupt. I got this one. It was mine. Six next down. Up, next up. Next Let up. Let me get it. I'm down. Beware. I got the oh. next one. That's two stacks. I just realized. We should probably swap. Got it. Who's got the next one? I got it. Beware. So I'm getting the next one. I'll get it. Tendon is up. I'm not sure what, what happened. You're yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Let's wipe it up. Well, the reason that Drain Instance was really bad earlier is that we had one of the bolts go off. Okay. And it hits... Well, actually, we had two go off. Um... Better with interrupts, then. Well, how about we just go back to anybody who can get an interrupt, call it out, and get it. Sounds good. I failed. <laughs> well, you got picked for the band. <laughs> Yes, you did, but it's okay. Nope, are yep. you using Are you using uh, Fell Hunter, Sarah? Let's go ahead and have just in case, especially with a smaller group like this, just so that you've got it. Do you have the macro for the interrupt? Okay. But you have the uh, the set focus macro. Do you know what that is? Um, I'll I'll send it to. Her. Okay. okay. What is the set Otherwise, focus macro? You can make a macro basically, um, so that whatever your focus is, and you can make a macro for your interrupt, and then whenever you oh. see the focus casting, you just hit that, so you don't have. That's to nice. That's, that's. I need that. So it essentially looks like that, just where instead of spear hand strike, it will be whatever the name of your interrupt spell is. So like on this particular character, it's disrupt, spear hand strike is a monk. So for you, it'd be what, wind, uh, whatever that is. Wind, sh wind, wind shear. shear. Yeah. And you can open your spell book and shift click the ability, it'll auto do it because it's yeah. really quick on spelling. Yeah, spelling and spacing, but yeah. Now, the good thing about making it that way is you can always just leave it. And so if you don't have a focus target, then it'll just go ahead and use your interrupt on whatever you're currently targeting, so like it normally would. Okay. Um... Uh... Find your dance partners. Remember, continuing to move is more important than necessarily getting to the other person, but try to get to the other person. Standing still, you're definitely going to die, though. If you have somebody that gets it really close to you, I just kind of step out of the way so that they can run. Yeah. Uh, what did we? What else did we lose people to early there? What killed Kalik? Oh, I think he died when that volley went off. Okay. Okay. So, interrupt. I think, yeah, I think we're good other than that. So he was just low in the dot ticking room wide, so yeah, just bad combination of shit. Yeah. I think, I think so, I wait a minute. Let me, let me see if I've got this right. So I said, she, at show to, or the hashtag, yeah. whatever, show, show tool tip, next line cat, uh, slash cast, at focus exists, harm? Yep. 
and then close the bracket is the spear hand strike is that supposed to be my wind shear yes whatever the name of your particular spell is and then semicolon is that an should I do the semicolon and then do it again? Semicolon space wind shear. I guess oh. the, the semicolon space extra one is basically if you don't have a focus target, then it will go ahead and interrupt whatever you're currently targeting. So I just have it that way. I don't have to pull it on and off my bar. I just kind of have mine set up that way all the time. I see the bees. The bees. Alrighty. That's how I have mine. Oh, I didn't paste right. What? If it works, you should be able to see. It how would I know if it works? If you have it typed in right, it should show up looking like the icon you normally expect. Uh huh. And it when I hit it, it says she's too far. Okay. It says like I'm out of range. Well, put it this way. Wait a minute. Do you do you have her targeted right now? Or just yes, set I do. Fo- okay, do you have her set to focus? Yes, I have set focus. Okay, now untarget her. Just just clear your target and hit your interrupt and see if it says you're too far away. It's too far away. And then it works. Perfect. Nice. And you're not getting weird script and speech. So that That's amazingly too. awesome. Thank you. I love those people that realize they didn't put a slash in the right place and they're just spamming their macro over their head. Yeah, like you may have... not figure out that it's wrong. Yeah. Alrighty. On you, derp. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. How dare you invade my policy? Damn, I taunted him midair, too. God. Oh, that was not. Yeah, the nice thing is you don't have to switch targets. You can just keep doing whatever. Attendance out. Who's got the next interrupt? I got it. Cool. I'll get the next. Of course, I don't have it. Uh, I'm running for my life. Yeah, you're too. Five got it. Beware. I got the next one. Attention. Beware. I've got the, the next one. Okay. Ooh, up Come front. on. They send you all the way to the back again. Hell yeah! What the hell, man? Because you're a one. Racist. Boogie Smell like wet bear. They don't want you near the wet bear. <laughs> down. Four. Jimmy right. Front forward. I'll pick up where I left off. Okay. You have distressed this gathering long enough. Got it. That one didn't think coming out. I've got the next one. Beware. Everyone find your partner. Who's got next? I can get it. Okay. Hey, we live, Sarah. Any- you need to switch? I only got one, but it looks like you need to switch. How did I get him? No, you didn't. You you just have uh, the dot from the other dude. Oh, gotcha. Let's just right, swap. I can eat it. He's almost dead. Got it. Well, I need to swap. Alrighty. I'm down. Oh, cool. You're up. Uh, grab Stavros. Keep him over there. Yeah. I like that. What? That was my interrupt. 
Don't suppose you can reincarnate. Beware. I'm still like that. That's two. Beware. Trade. Beware. Yep. Beware. And avoid the dancers. Beware. Oh, a bitch. Everyone, take Beware. your position. We don't have any more battle reses, do we? Nope. Okay. Too much. There's one. We're okay, though. Yeah, I mean, we didn't lose our best DPS, thankfully. <laughs> Oof. That was Zekron. Yeah, I wasted mine too. Somebody get got that. Got it. You? Who's got next? Beware. I got it. Two okay. stacks. Swap. Beware. Uh, did we? We didn't lust, did we? Yeah, we did. Beware. Did we? Why do I not yep. show? That's two stacks. You're dead. Oh. Here, I'll hit it for you. I was gonna say, do you want someone to Might as well get my next to JP. Beware. He's down. Alrighty. Avoid the dancers. I will come up here in a second. Sorry, I just got back in. And remember, you're going to start leaving puddles of shit. If you start getting too much, we can kite her around. Like that. Beware. Spread out. And move. I'm gonna take her kind of to the middle here. That way we got that, that whole. I got next. Dear guests and vile intruders. Take yeah, that was getting a little hot. For the dance macabre. I got next. Beware. Oh, all right. Spread out. Watch your puddles. Whenever she drops some more puddles, I'm going to take her back to the middle of the room. I'm going to go now. I got Stampede. All righty. Puddles are about to disappear. Beware. I think that's going to be a kill. Hey. Good job, Eliana. I just realized it was just those two. Hey, at least that sounds not annoying. Right? Yay, Anna. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look. Good. Congrats. I totally oh, no, need that. Me too. Oh, we got oh really <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. It's always salt in the wound. 
I'm sorry, I can't trade it. It's got avoidance. Oh, that is a that is, actually is a nice little uh, extra perk there. Yes, it is. Uh, there's an upgrade at least. Congrats. Thank you. I thought I could roll well on a ring. Anybody need a break, a break before uh, sludge? Move right in or what? Get back. Another piece of loot. Wow. Nice. What is it? Kayla got a piece of loot too. But I want you to notice they're for two left feet. So if you can't use them. Huh? That's great. It does it says two left feet? What gear was it? I didn't even see it drop. I don't see it either. Kayla Stone got tendon tendon boots. boots. Mm. Both of these greaves are fitted for the left foot. That's what it says on it. Nice. I did at the very end because why not? Crypt, did you go offline? Hooray. Yeah, Thank technically you. I did too, so. Technically I did too. I went to grab my uh, health stone and forgot I had already used it, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm dead. So we're... We need the good face for this. Oh, it's fine. Let's just see how it goes first. Use it. Yeah. So, so I hasn't done this on heroic. I don't think I have. I haven't. I was about to go on Wildhead and just look up the difference. That's usually what worry, I do. Buddy. So <laughs> same fight, except on top of the chains that you get, there's gonna be someone targeted in the group, right? And they're gonna there'll be red. We see a red circle around them, and anybody in that circle. He's going to pull to him. So range is going to get pulled towards the boss. So the best way to do it is everybody in range just stand on that person. You already stacked anyway, so you might as well just do it together. He will pull everybody in. And then what you want to do is no, same thing. You don't want to speed boost away because you can still be chained. Um, so someone will be marked. As soon as you get pulled in, look for that marker because you want to run towards that marker. And then we'll slowly get back to the exact same spot we were before we got pulled in. And um, that's it. That's the only difference besides the yeah. damage and the DPS output you have to have. So. so he pulls everyone in and then you just run back out? Yep. Yes. Together, you know, and get back to the same spot you were standing before you got pulled in. Yeah. You know, that doesn't sound like it would be a big deal, but... So the only it's, thing it's... really happens is if somebody, if you have somebody with chains that's inside the red circle and somebody out, you're going to die. Um, and then sometimes running back, people can get split up or whatever, but it's really not that big of a mechanic to overcome. Uh, I think the hardest part when I've done it is your camera angles can get a little wonky as you start to move away from him. Uh, when does he do chains? Does he pull you in right before a stomp? No. Like, I just, I, I have to ramp for every pillar, and I don't really need to be moving, but as long as he's pulling me, I can cast like I'm still not moving. Yeah. If I remember, he, we had enough time to get back to that spot before the stomp would come out. Yeah. We'll see. I've, I've only, I think it's, we pulled on this guy just a couple of times. I just, I hadn't seen the mechanic yet. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, other than that, it's exactly the same. Move, you know, so, somebody in the range group is just going to be moving everybody out of the puddles as they drop. Um, that too. Um, and then, like I said, occasionally you'll see a big red circle and just it just helps if everybody in range just goes ahead and stands in it. 
if you're a healer and you're not chained to somebody and you want to stand outside of it to keep so you can keep healing and not get yanked that's fine but be very much aware of whether or not you were chained to someone or not so especially since we only got two healers in here maybe the healers can get chained together and we can just both stand there by ourselves right? that'd be awesome um but yeah, no, Val, you're, to your point, so DPS, um, we're still going to do Lust on the third pillar and all the big cooldowns. Um, well, I'll just tell you how I do it on my block. So I usually go ahead and throw my um, Infernal out like at the very beginning. It's not even technically on a pillar, but it's a three minute because you'll get that damage there, and then it should be up by the time he hits the third pillar again, because you have 210 seconds between the pool and when he hits that third pillar. So you can use two-minute cooldowns on the first pillar, and then again on the third. Um, and if you've got three minutes, you can use the three-minute cooldowns. You can use it on pool, basically, and have it back up for the third, but... Once he hits that third pillar, he needs to die as fast as possible because he's just going to start beating the crap out of me and derp. I almost wonder if we're going to need a third healer for this because this is going to be a lot of damage. And I'm really seriously very useless in between pillars. I, I, I put a huge bubble on everybody. Love this small raid group, by the way. I can put a shield on every single one of you for about 19k. Nice. And only because there's so few of us. Well, let's get a pull in. I think. One, so everybody can see the yank mechanic and figure out how to deal with it. And two, let's see. For, our healers are going to need a little more help than we got. Um, do we have a ranged stack point? And if we, and what way are we going to be moving? To the left or the right? Um... I, it doesn't matter to me the way we do it in our other one. I kind of like. I'm trying to think of how the different groups have done it. So the way we do it on normal is we usually will have him hit that pillar that's right there kind of by where you guys are started. And then we just go clockwise from there. I don't think there's any reason to do it otherwise. So your range stack point is kind of where you're at now. Uh, let's mark bad. Yeah, I usually go this way, right. We usually take right two, sometimes three times, depending on how everybody's stacked. Then we'll go forward, kind of towards where the boss is, and take up the space where that gate is. And then, um, when we get to roughly around where the boss is standing, it's usually time for the pillar. Hit that, and then slowly just follow melee around, trying to keep um, out of the stomp, but close enough so healers can... Still yeah. hit the tanks and the melee group and basically just kind of walk it around and take That's it perfect. as it goes. Yeah. I'm just may... visual, so it, it just kind of, you know, like when everybody gets pulled in and whatnot, to have a, a point to say, okay, got, just everybody go back to follow a marker. It, it, it's, it's just yeah, the, marker, the marker helps when you get pulled in, so you, you can just look for the blue square as soon as you get sucked in and just immediately start walking that way. And I won't go too fast. I'll kind of wait for everybody to kind of catch up, but we got to move swiftly thank you i am now ready i'm sorry to click okay so I was any other questions i mean this is learning for all of us so as far as i know we've only got one person in here who's actually down this boss all right well let's give it a go see what happens I need to move him back just a hair. Here we go. Beware. Smash. So we'll be moving all right. Stone crush you. What do I need to do? Keep it going. Okay. Beware. Run away! Run away! Squish you! 
four, three, two, one. Beware. Do not be in front of him when he charges, melee. All right, this is your two-minute cooldowns. And we're going to just more or less tank him about where he's at now. We're trying to go to our right again. Beware. He's gonna he's gonna charge this second pillar. Should I onk or just wipe? It's gonna be a wipe. Yeah. But play it through and speak up and get used to it. Because they said it was a one, and I was trying to you. I know, but <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna break this on purpose." Rude. All right, healers, what do y'all think? So y'all going to be able to keep up with just two of you? Well, I screwed up my timings on both. I still got I to look up and see the name of that stinking slam. What, when, what is the name of the charge? Healer's uh, charge. charge, is that what it's called? Yeah. Because I, I missed my numbers twice. I'd um, like to give it another whack before we add another healer, because the DPS is pretty freaking awesome, so... I think we can do it. Yeah, yeah we I, were on I track, should have I had you all covered, and I didn't have, but like eight of us covered, and I no. still didn't have the full shield going. There's a feast down back here, guys. See, that's when we wiped. We had the, the lower feast. Yeah, that was the reason. How's everybody doing on oils? I know mine are about to run up. Cool, that was done. Good call. <laughs> it's like, you know, they don't do that much, but it's amazing how much that extra one, one and a half percent actually makes. Well, when everybody's on it, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's got one. No, you're, uh,. Yeah, our DPS is actually looking good. We need at least about three and a half for everybody through the end of the fight to get it, so. We'll have to end up kick kicking that snick. She's slacking. Yeah. Uh, as far as the movement, are we good with the pillars that direction? As far as you guys moving around, I know by the time we get to that second pillar, you guys can kind of get spread out. Any uh, thoughts? For that second pillar, when you did the second charge, bringing him over over this way kind of thing, uh, we just have to be able to move up a little bit quicker. Because uh, you were moving right, 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 and then at one point you guys were out of range and it took me a second to go, oh shit, like, we're not even in the right spot. So yeah, that's the thing, is my range is different than your, I, I think I have a longer range, so that's the one thing. If we're not in a good spot, just say, hey, just move up a little bit and I'll move up. We'll do it. Just like I said, it just took me a second to react to that. It's like, wait a minute, I can't reach them. Oh no. What if I'm just thinking out loud, you can tell me if I'm not if instead of going the way that we did go, 
we, we do that one first and then that guy second and then back to the pillar behind that back to blue and go that route will that leave y'all more room to move around because then we can still bring him to this first one y'all can keep moving around in the back we can take him to the second y'all can move more towards the middle once he hits blue you can move into that back i i mean would that help any i approve i've seen it done like that room, i guess what is it that we could use more of the where he's standing we could use more of that area because we'll never get back to there we shouldn't have yeah to back to well there. i know the other night we were doing it that way and i know like this space where i'm kind of at now is getting iffy in in terms of yeah you start getting like some some reach issues so you good with that dirt you have dude a, i can swipe i don't give a shit none of it really affects me <laughs> it's just wherever they're comfy i don't care okay well let's let's try going this way we'll hit skull then x then blue then moon maybe that'll give them a little bit more room let's we'll see if that helps and the main thing with ranged i mean i won't call them all but i mean just the main thing is just get out of it you don't have to be you don't have to crazily run out of that puddle just make sure you're out of it and you won't break a chain and just creep back up yeah i one question of i sure. so i know so I know, like I say, if you taunt, technically he is hitting both of us. Is he cleaving both of us 50% like equally, or is the second guy taking less, or what's the deal with that? I think the second guy, if I, if I understand how it's working, I think basically one of us is taking the bulk, and then we're sharing um, the other hit that uh, the giant fist. Well, that's a little personal yeah so sure. i think yeah so i think in a situation like if you notice like i'm starting to dip under half you may taunt off if you're still full yeah, um, well, that's what i was doing at first yeah no i think that's because I, I don't think it's all a cleave i think it's just that giant fist that's a cleave so all i am is a soak man i'm a punching bag i can hold him forever but then i notice so whoever doesn't technically have the threat is the one that has to run over to the pillar. You're like the the control. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, in, in all honesty, if you want to take the majority of it, you're yeah. probably stockier than I am. So That's what I was getting at. That's why I was yeah. wondering if it was 50-50 or if there was a different percentage. Nope. Let's let's go that. I'll let you have main, and, I, and if I see you dip under 50, I'll taunt off you long enough to get for the healers to catch up and okay. that sort of thing. All right, I think we're Crip. Crip. What's up? All right, are you ready? No, I'm not really, but yeah. <laughs> you sure? All right, so one more ready check and then. All right. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Gonna flatten your bones. Beware. Roll coming out. Slam on snake. All right, get reset. Stack up. All right, two minute cooldowns. Beware. No so, 
we're gonna have to go around that pu these puddles to our left and right. So we'll move forward and then move to our right. Beware. And the next pillar we're gonna hit is X. Forward, oh, stay there. Bane slam. All right. Beware. Just run to the down. right. I'm down. Back up. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay, look, you want to try to charge? Next pillar we're going to head to is the blue one. We far enough away? Think yeah. So. Yeah. You going towards square, you said? Yeah, that's going to be the next one. Okay, we're going to go to our right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, not in time. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, so that way was okay, but it kind of put you in harm's way there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Beware. And we get roared into a bunch of them, which hurt. Yeah, that roar is uh, pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. And then ending up inside the uh, rubble. We're really good on the damage, though. Um, I mean, he's at 46% with people down. So our damage is good. We just got to keep people alive. If we go back to how it was, I think that would be a little bit better. Okay. I'm fine with that. But the only I'm. I'm... That I have is what Aliana said. We need to move forward more. We can. We can do that. Just. Just because of the the range of the tanks. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just move forward just a little, a little further. But I think other than that, if we keep everybody alive, we definitely we're we're good. Did we want to uh, take a quick break? Yeah, does anybody need a break? Just a short one, please. Yes, please. Let's just take a quick break then. Let's get up here and we'll re reset and do some more. How does healing feel? Does it feel overwhelming? Uh, yeah. Felt great to me. <laughs> no, I mean the 18 versus 20 main stat is I think I, I don't think that two extra main stats gonna make or break us here. Oh right. side note, uh <laughs> any point man, if war wants the tank, dude, I can jump in and heal. And will give us some variety too. Let's take a break and sort that out.
five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, if we're adding any more to the group, it is going to. We're going to need another healer. I said, dude, you can swap at any time. He can reliably tank. That's why I bring it up. I, I don't give a shit what spec I got to roll if it means we kill shit, though. I see the, the general is full of the anal chat tonight. I just, I, I, I left all that, the six pack, and I don't miss it, even kinda. <laughs> it's like it never stops, though. It just continues. Um... Oh, man, he's here. Shit. If you don't move, he won't see us. I say what you want. I don't care. So when he pulls you in, when he throws that chain and jerks us in, we just need to run back and that's pretty much it. Yeah, just make sure you stay with the group and don't break your chains on the way back. But yeah, even if you've got to get hit by falling debris, it's better than getting than breaking chains. So keep that in mind too. Ooh. Grab some lop rocks. Are you happen to grab an extra out of that cauldron? I can give a Yes, I did. Come grab one. I had some. Can you where are we got cauldron ones though? I have one, so who needs it? Trade snake. They'll disappear in your bags if you don't use them tonight. Did somebody Oh, you're rearranging groups. I was like, what happened? Hey somebody give me a quick rundown what's different here. Um, the only difference is he's going to, so you'll be in range group. He's going to pull us into him. So someone's going to get marked. They'll be huge and red, uh, big red circle under their feet. You just continue to stack. The boss will pull us in and then we just, just follow the blue marker. Don't run ahead. Just try to stay as close as possible because the chains are still going to be a thing. And then you just go back to where you were standing previously to getting pulled in. That's it. Got you. Okay, so we are going to need another healer with this many people. Do we want to move Warmega to tank and move Derp to healing? Or do we want to maybe Snick heal? Do we have preference on that? Anybody feel strongly one way or the other? I mean, just look in. 
Snake's doing pretty well. Everybody's pretty comparable on DPS. I mean, I don't think either one would hurt. So, Kalik, if there is only one melee, you don't get chains. So that is one benefit. <laughs> so... Because it won't chain you to a tank, but my my understanding, what I've heard, and I have never seen to anything to the contrary, is that if you only have one melee, they are not getting chains. Didn't somebody say like like a monk healer or a pally healer are yes. considered melee, so so they would have to be in there? Yes. But we don't have that, so. Yeah. But um, I know. You know, I know War and, and Snick both prefer to DB, DPS, so... It's up to them, man. Do that or we're stuck grabbing to grab somebody. I will do whichever you need me. Okay, let's try it with us. Khan has spoken. Are you okay with that, War? I know sure. you said you you preferred the DPS. I guess I don't want to force anybody into doing something they don't want to be doing. Slave labor. Yeah, just be aware. I don't parse uh, near as high on, in my tank spec. Fair enough. Oh, and that was grounds for removal, remember? Right. Oh, well. Then we're just trapping you, I guess. It's a trap. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the mark. Well, I'll leave the markers just so we'll have them for. But we're going to go back to, we're going to do skull and then moon and then blue and then X for the pillar order. And I'm going to scoot up a little further, Con. Just tell me if it's not enough. You need some more uh, when you get closer. One of us will say something. Is there a potion that goes with that embalmer's oil? Yeah, there should be one that goes with that. Because um, I know Phantom Fire goes with the Shadow Core, right? Uh, yeah. There's there's several healing potions. Is that what you're talking about? I guess. I like uh, the embalmer's oil for tank spec because it kind of gives me a little bit of a self-heal. I run one embalmer, one uh, shadow core as demon hunter. Can anybody make stam potions or whatever? Uh, yeah. Um, I can make five right now. I'm just thinking, may if we actually get to the that last bit, it may not hurt that for me to have one. To try to keep from just getting my ass handed to me. Well, whoever's the uh, the off person can use complete immunities or whatever. Actually, there's yeah. not one that goes with the embalmers. I'm not seeing one. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try it like this first. With that third healer and an extra DPS, and yeah, we'll go. We'll go back to Skull Moon, Blue, then X. In war, we'll just try to whoever's got aggro, just kind of watch. If I've got aggro and you see me dip under fifty percent taunt. And if you've got aggro and I see you dip under 50%, I'll taunt. And then we'll just kind of go that route. All right. If you're going to blow bigger cooldowns or like if I will, I'll call it out so that you know you can just leave me with aggro a bit longer or whatever. But. All right. Looks like everyone's ready. Um, just. Vi, so on pool, if you've got three minutes cool three minute cooldowns, you can use them on pool. Use your two minute cooldowns on the first pillar, and then 
make sure that when he hits the third pillar, you've got all your big cooldowns ready to go for DPS. However that works out for you. Sounds good. All right. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Gonna flatten your bones. Beware. He's about to yank you all in. Careful going back. Beware. Crush your face. All right. After this one, he's going to charge here shortly. Alright, your two minute cooldowns. I'm just scared about that slam. Can you guys pull him a little closer to the wall? There we go. Stone crush you. Pain slam. Get back. Stand back a little bit. One. Beware. Stop in time. We'll go forward. We'll then pull back the way they've got a path forward. We need to skip forward. Take it. Beware. Stand still. Okay, we're going to go close to that gate on our left. Two, one. All right, should be getting charge. And this is the one we're going to blow go all of our cooldowns bit. on. Let's get all right, oh. lust, all your big cooldowns, get them. EPS dead. Yeah. I can all. That was my bad because I was in a corner and it started rumbling, so I moved. My bad. I take up this left space so we can kind of get a better view on this other side of it. Use yeah. up that space. Beware. Yeah, my camera can't see over here. I keep hitting. I get hit, yeah, hit by I couldn't see stomp, anything. Like six, not stomp. The falling rubber, like six times now. I would unk, but I'd be in the middle of nowhere and I'll immediately yeah. die. I just hit my onk. Fuck. Beware. You got this, Con. Only 39%. Go, Con, go. 
You can't be in front of him when he charges. Though. I got him at the pillar. All right, that's all I was going for. That was my bad. That's okay. I think if we all stay up, I think we'll get this. Yeah, we've got the DPS. Like we were really good going into the second pillar. We just need to keep more people alive. Yeah, that wall gets kind of funky. Like I couldn't see anything. You summon me quick. I'm gonna swap it down. Why won't this ray frames let me swap Aliana and? They're stupid. They they're stupid. They won't. I don't know why. get closer and then we can probably throw on some armor kits to help out or whatever <laughs> it is rather ridiculous it does it all the time i on a regular rate i'm glad we all have assists because i always try to fix the first group and then group two to have the top one as the healer but it doesn't always work i figure there's probably an add-on that makes it easier but i like i just use regular raid frames too. That's still better, right? That's exactly how I want it. That's good stuff. Okay. Was it an add-on? No. So what did we do? I moved I moved War out of the party, then used War to swap with Aliana, and then was able to move Aliana back into the party. And then put her in third. I don't know. I'll be right back. One sec. Okay. Just not a fan of this room. Yeah, the room sucks. No, I was having that issue. My warlock too close to a wall. It's hard to see. Honestly, for the most part, I think I ended up at, on my warlock just pretty much looking just straight down at myself. That way I could just see rubble forming and whatever. Okay, okay. I'm back. I'll sit. Okay. Just going to try that same thing again, hopefully with a little better results. As War would say, this time with feeling. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I was going to say, put it on a tag. It might be. Yeah. I mean, we have two. Okay. Whatever. So, uh, Soul Stone, I think. Probably on me. Bye. Cool. Okay. Let's try this again. I'll put a soul stone on anyone but a hunter. Fair enough. Remember, three minute cooldowns on full, two minute four, cooldowns four, on first three, pillar. Three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Gonna flatten your bones. Beware. Smash. Stone. About to get pulled. Move back as a group. Four, three, two, one. He's going to charge a pillar shortly. Guess we're going to red. Oh, my bad. I was supposed to go to skull. Yeah, it's all right. 
and go to skull next. We're doing it live. Would it be easier to go to skull or for us to move back to blue? I'd go to the right. Okay. Let's, uh, war, let's, we need to get him a little further away from that pillar. Let's pull him back towards this wall. Yeah. We got room to go right, so we're going to go right. I had to move up a little bit. Good. Perfection. All right, you're about to get sucked in. You're going to have to run. Yeah, there you go. You might want to back up a little bit, guys. Four, three, two, one. All right, two minutes. Or not, never mind. Ignore me. We usually do. Reasonable. Beware. No fear. Should we speak for it? Yeah, I just want to um, make sure we don't get blown back in that roar. Beware. So let's go forward a good ways. So we got room to go back. Forward. Can you guys scoot them over forward a little bit? Uh, not much. We don't need to get too close to that other pillar there. Beware. Back. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Eh. Yep. Yeah. Ah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think we're too good and go to blue. Yeah, we're gonna have to start moving for heat. You guys good here for the moment? I can't reach felony. Yeah, go ahead and just got him. Beware. Go around our left side. Beware. We'll just go forward from here. Yeah, it's a white. We don't have another pillar. No, we don't. But uh, with the exception of that, he would have been dead right here, I believe. Yeah, I didn't even realize it broke. Yep. No, that's what when you. That's when you're asking us to move forward. That's right. We, we got a little too far forward. I was hoping we weren't, but we were. But uh, I think that was a kill. I don't know if I can take his uh, fisting. It's just uh, when he gets below thirty percent. I mean, yeah. No, that's what I was. Tr I'm trying not to use. I'm not going to use the soul stone. I'm trying not matter. to use pots or anything before. Because that's what I'm, I'm hoping to just have them to use for that last bit. Yeah, Listen. like, I'm saving my Hellstone and my healing potion, but there's just so much damage going out. And then when he enrages, it's a it's a whole lot more. Yeah. Well, third pillar, I, I try to remember uh, for my barrier to come down on y'all also. I can usually hit y'all right off the bat, and then the third pillar also. Okay, because I'm doing uh, healing types for the first one, spirit link for the second one. So if we get the third one, that would be great. But yeah, I, I can, we... I can put, usually put the barrier down in the regular rate. I just, yeah, that was weird. And I got stunned for every shield phase. It's stupid. DPS is it's looking good. We just gotta stay alive. It actually 
not it saying we need better. to do it yet, but worst case here, I th again, I think Derp's a little more durable than either of us. Worst case here, we might try Snick Hills. I can bring my lock in and Derp go back to tank. But I mean, let me try to switch up a uh, talent before we change it up too much. Yeah, I, like I said, I didn't want to do it yet. I'm just saying, like, that is an option. Can you all get us some back? I got a tone for you, War. Where you at? Yeah, I need to double check my, uh, what's it called? Uh, Soulbind. Covenant Soulbind. Yeah, I need to visit my sanctum to activate. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I got, I got you if you need a tome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Can we get a lock portal back here? Look at you, you learning. Let's make sure it's not for a hunter. G quit then. I'm about to bring my hunter back just to smite all these warlock. <laughs> They're getting a little too cocky. All right, fine. But we're gonna charge the hunters. Did Vi die that last fight? I died. You died a rubble, a roar, change break. Oh, I died on purpose. Somebody called out that a pillar was going or something, and it was a white. Oh, okay. Died. I got you, got you. I stood in something. All right. All right. I think the next one. Well, I'm just going to kind of go here two or three more times. If well, Hopefully we don't need to go more than one. But Did you see the terrible mythic mechanic on this? That's the no. swirlies, right? That sucks. Like, you have to, after the he breaks the pillar, things fall down. You have to stand with your chained partner in it. And then it's going to break off into two more, and you have to stand in those. Yep. That sucks. It's I've actually heard, uh... it's not that bad because you just, all, like, all the ranged, all the range just, like, you just form a little grid where your circles are overlapping, but you're not in anybody else's circle. And as long as you're within range of the person you're chained with, then it won't break that chain. Like, obviously, it's annoying, but I, it didn't look super duper bad. I think that is the correct thought process there, Kalik. I, uh, I still have yet to be in, in, in a group that has wiped on generals at any point. So... <laughs> I haven't done it on Heroic, though. All right. Everybody stack up. Val, yeah, looks like we're ready. Step forward a little so I can pre-roll hot on you. Kankies. Oh. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Bad job, me. Stone crush you. Beware. Get group back up. Is that close to this other earthquake, guys? Yeah, we want to. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Stop in time. Beware. Out 
You guys back up close to the ball a little bit. I'm gonna try to kind of pull him back towards this wall a little bit, so y'all got a little more room to move through the middle there. That's all stone. That's messy. Beware. Use on the cookie. All right, get ready to use your big cooldowns. Do not be in front of him. We got three DPS down. Yep. Beware. Okay. Just move backwards. Can you guys reach or no? No, I can't see him. Crush you. Be in front of this pill. Beware. Four, three, two, one. Beware. We're in a bad place. Yeah, do not be in front of him. All right. Whatever you guys got left. You guys will probably get to roughly 20%, I think. Before he goes ape shit. Yeah, the problem is if we make it to another... Just move to the right after this. All the tanks are dead on top of each other, at least. We suicide. So I think it gets it gets messy after that first pillar, and we're kind of walking it back. We've seen a better path to walk it back, I think. Yeah, I uh, I totally didn't realize I was. You a builder or a breaker? Oh, so it did end up chaining the melee to. Probably because we were down, people. Yeah. Yeah, was that at the end when all the range were down? Yeah, when did it chain you to Zekron? I hate you guys if you're not using your hellstones, by the way. <laughs> I don't still have three. We just gotta we gotta really stack better on square. Yeah. In, in the closer... Go ahead, well, when we get sucked in and we walk back, don't run all the way back to that spot because he's going to roar also. So I'll usually stop 
a little before that to allow some of that room so we're not taking just damage for no reason. So don't run to the exact spot. Just stop a little before, take a little bit of the roar, just fight it a little bit to stay out of the rubble. But we got to get closer to the rubble we already dropped. Yeah. And that roar will move you. So. And Kalik, when you run out of that circle, can you run towards a wall? Because there were a couple times the pools followed you just on the outside rim of that circle. So if you'll run towards a wall as much as possible, that'll keep those puddles, those random puddles out of the middle of the room as much as possible. Hold on a second. Say screw it. Just go get the Vantis so we can just blow this thing away. The other, the other thing I would say, guys, is the when when we move out of pools, we want to move out of the pools, but then we want to be right back up against that pool so that the next one overlaps slightly. Yeah. You want to just move out of the pool, not down yeah, too far past it. What I try to do, just in my logic, it doesn't always happen because I try to, if people are not stacked exactly on me, I kind of try to adjust to where they are so we don't get messed up. But my logic is if we're, say, Derp is the boss and we're, um, he's running around though. So we start in that little, the edge of him kind of on, like over here, yeah. and we walk to the right. I try to put our backs to where <laughs> we don't have a puddle. So that's the thought process. Yeah. We'll get one more. If not, then I'm probably gonna go do some shopping. We'll get some bandage runes and get, get this guy over with. Go do some generals and hopefully look at Sire. I'm kind of curious about. Anyway, we'll see here. Okay. Can we actually start right here? That way, when we get blown, we get blown to where we're where we're starting. Does that make sense? About here. Yeah. That way, you should be able to cast all the way through his uh, pushback. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Stack up time, guys. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Two minute cooldowns in. Now we'll move to the right to keep our backs against this wall. Beware. Squish you. Four, Squish. three, two, 
one. Beware. Can't reach the tanks. Good. Yeah, you're gonna have to move forward though, because I can't stay there. We want to move to the left just a hair. Beware. Not really. We're gonna have to back up. You ready to blow your big cooldowns? Alright. You ready to get pushed back? Can you pull them back? Try to use that space to our left first. Forward. Beware. Back up. Let's go left. Sorry, I didn't start calling those earlier. Shit, I'm down. Yeah, there was some nowhere. Yeah, we're getting. That area is just not good. Two, one. That kind of struggling with the uh, Discord, huh? Maybe, and I make a suggestion or a question yeah. or something. By all means. All done. Let's get back in there. That or let's set up the room in here. Um, you be I keep getting, I keep getting in the rebel and getting uh, knocked unconscious for a second and trying to get out of it if we have like a basic general path that we kind of know which way we're going to go that would sure help does that make sense yeah it because does. because i feel like i'm trying to second guess where you're going to go and so i end up bobbing where you weave and weaving where are you bob and so I end up getting knocked senseless, which hurts my DPS, but it also doesn't help at all for heal. I know you said you didn't want to call them all out. Like you would uh, maybe just call them all out. You know, you're moving to the left, even though it might be obvious. Left, left, right, left. Just do it. Front, backwards, left, right. And I'm also going shopping. We're going to get this down real quick. Well, I think that would help tremendously. I think we're struggling with that, so. Oh, are you going to oh, yeah. go get Vantus Jones? Because if that's the case, I've got to hurt and go get my own. You got to get your own? She's across round. You can't give anything to her. Oh, that's right. Ooh. <clears throat> Somebody was supposed to move. I was working on it. Somebody <laughs> was supposed to move? Look at that.
I'm selling all my stuff and, and whatnot for like extra space. I've made like almost 200k in three days, so just a little bit more over there. Okay. I'm just, I was looking to see if I could find anything suggesting. So complexity moves him in a little different order than we do. And it looks like it would leave more total space for, for moving. Same pillars, different pillars. So it looks like they're going um, X skull moon square. So same pa same order, but just starting with X and um, and then going clockwise, and then DPS range is stacked. Get back here. I think you're looking at the same thing I was. Yeah. So ranged is basically starting about. So tanks will drag him more to that left side. So ranged is starting more or less here. He'll hit this first pillar. We'll tank him here. Uh, yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll hit this first pillar. We'll tank for that one about there. And... Uh, I'm just going to put the markers. So X would be kind of where range will end up at that point. And then once he hits skull over here, ranged will end up moving kind of over here. So you'll be working your way along the back and then kind of come over towards blue. He'll hit the third pillar, which is this one that I'm standing at right now. And basically, range will end up on silver about where Derp's at. And then you should have all of this area back here to move for that fourth one. There'll be so much space for activities. we get Yeah, the way that they're wording it is we'll start we'll start tanking him around X. Range will start on skull. And then when he does his first hateful gaze and hits the first pillar, range should be somewhere around X and start moving towards blue. And so after he hits the second pillar range should be at about blue and when he hits the third pillar you'll be working your way towards moon and they recommend staying near the walls as much as possible that way if you get garbage there you have room to move out you haven't yeah you know, created a wall yeah let's get another armor kit on and hmm. all 
Alrighty. How much are Banthus runes, by the way? I think it was, I think that like one cage. That's not bad. That's uh, one set of, one set of callings a week. Uh, go ahead and take it. Fine, did everybody get one? Is anybody missing one that I can trade to? No. No, no, no. Yes, yes. It's all about contributing. <sighs> so, do we want to try moving that way? I didn't see it because I was in <laughs> Stormwind. I gotcha. Before. Any range saw it that can follow that direction? Well, like, basically, so we'll start out tanking him. We'll grab him and move him closer, kind of where X is at, like a little bit, not quite all the way to X, but kind of to the point of that wall. And you guys can kind of start, you know, somewhere between that gate going up the stairs and X and move just around that back corner until he hits this first pillar. And then... The first pillar is going to be this one here, and then and then proceeding clockwise. So basically, y'all are going to be moving from Scold X, from X to Blue, from uh, Blue to Moon, and then to Green. And by that point, you should have this entire area to play in. Just looking at. Link real quick. I want to take me about a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're starting at the stairs and they're going kind of towards the uh, west side of the room and then they loop around. Yeah, because I think if you kind of start at stairs and just kind of hug the wall around that corner towards skull and then x you should have plenty of room because he'll charge we'll go for this pillar first and then this pillar and so they're just one. really making use of the area up by him immediately rather than second or third they're going one two dropping shit over there and then working over this way yeah so all this should stay basically clear so by the time he breaks this one, you sh all this area should be open along this wall, kind of between blue and silver. Let's try that and just see if you've got more room and a little more flexibility for moving around. Less puddles and whatnot to run through. So just be aware that this is going to be a growing pain pull to learn the movement, guys. Yeah. Because I think the way that we were trying the movement is we're running out of room and creating too many other issues, relying on RNG way too much to make sure you guys have room to stand. Like Crip said, kind of a little bit ahead of it. So we're running right here. You push back a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Anybody have questions? Oils. Got oils. Got my chest armor back on. Does anybody not have an oil? I can make hundreds of them. Okay. All right. Everyone's ready. Again, we're going to pull him back a little bit so y'all have room to kind of move up. Come forward. Five, five, four, four, there we go. Three, two, two, one, one. Beware. Gonna crack your bones. Beware. 
So we will be moving right. Alright, move back to the group. Careful. Back up slow. Alright, we're gonna go to this pillar this time more. Right. my cooldown on the wrong pillar. How you just drank on the pole like an idiot. <laughs> I feel you. We're gonna go right. Stack up tight, guys. I can't reach war. Sorry. We need to, yeah, there we go. He is. Beware. This is where we'll start taking the middle of the room here. Yeah, y'all are going to be moving back towards blue. Go left, how are we going left? I was wondering how we were going to do this pattern. That one wasn't supposed to be there, but it is. So when we run through, are we going to run through on the other side? Let's just get here for now. And let's get ready to get... We're not going to make it. Yeah, we're in a corner here. Yep, yeah, that one good. I mean, you can run through the puddles if you need to. All right, so that was we started, we were... a sign. Oh, okay. Starting on skull. We, we never made it to skull before. Like we had marks on blue already. I gotcha. There were too much puddles between yeah. us to go across and cut through there. So like we after we got to skull, we did pretty good. It's just we already had stuff in the way on blue. We need to start more by the gate instead of on the blue marker. Is what you're saying? Yes. I was thinking if yeah, if we can yeah. get even halfway to skull. Yeah, like it's pretty much where that you. earthquake thingy is on the ground right by the gate. Yeah, because according to that we're looking at, like they were starting much closer, like basically starting on skull. Can we so uh, not aggro and get around him? I yeah, real, you can bad. do it real easily. What what I think we should do is I think we take the first one on blue, or as close to blue as possible. Then when we get pulled into the boss, we run straight to skull. And then that allows us to leave one there far out of the way, and then we can start our chain, chains of them, starting at skull, and then work our way, and then weave our way back up. Does that make sense? Yeah, you, utilizing his pull-in to reposition ourselves sounds right. way better. I think if we can just get our path down, I think we've got this. Yeah, that, that's probably the hardest part of this fight, really. But yeah, no, you had a lot of real estate back there that didn't have any brown in it.
his I got his haste. I don't have his verse. All right. Give me a few minutes. I got to go check on my dog. See if I can get him in the pen and see if she needs some fresh water and stuff. Be back in a second. Since felonies here, he can take. I'm gonna go uh, change my soul bond real quick. I'm gonna remember this at some point, not have to look it up every time. Oh, oh, snake's not here yet. Well, so I, I made it through all the crazy weather, right? <sighs> made it through zero or negative three degree weather. And then this morning, one of my outside faucets decides to bust. This morning, you know, the morning that was like, I don't know, 19, 21 degrees. This, this morning is the morning it decides to break for me. Not, not the, not the negative three. The, the 19 or 21 so started moving that was actually the thought as well because I called my aunt and told her because we live about I don't know four miles from each other and I just told her you know hey we've been good until this morning I turned on the water to wash my hands and I had very little water pressure and that is not something typical with my house and uh, yep I went outside and found it and had to cut the water main off and Good news was, I thought about my father-in-law. Uh, we live on, on 40 acres with him and his mother, so he's up on the hill. And so I thought, hey, he's got a house up there. I've been helping him, you know, quite a bit. We we are trying to get his house built. He's got a, he's got everything done but the insides, 
And I thought about it. I'm like, hey, we did plumbing. I bet he's got some PVC uh, cap and some glue. And so I finally thought about that like eight hours later for some reason. And yeah, he come down and we got it capped off. So I'm going to turn the water back on in the morning and hope for the best. I, I really hope so. It split the pipe, though. It's crazy. I mean, it was in, it was insulated too. Like it was split and coming out of the styrofoam, you know the the foam pad that goes around it. It was just pouring through it. Yeah, no water pressure for me. And I went, what is, okay, Kristen, something busted. Well, funny enough, my aunt called me while I was out there putting the cap on to tell me that, guess what happened to her? She had a pipe bust just, I don't know, 10 minutes after I called her. So I think it has something to do with the warming up, the, the water moved or something. I, I don't know exactly the science behind it. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's PVC, so it's just pipe, but, like, it's just that, that material, it's not a nice metal pipe, but even then, yes, plastic does the same thing, and that, that's, you know, something I'm probably going to invest in eventually is changing out my pipes, at least the exposed ones, for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, I can't remember what that pipe is called. It's basically, it freezes and it expands, so it won't ever bust. It'll still freeze, but it'll, it won't ever bust. And my dad, my dad put some in at his house and he is now frozen water like five years in a row, but nope, no bust. But while I was trying to dig up the water main out of the snow, that was stupid. Uh, I, uh, my wife was able to get like seven gallons of water while I was doing that, so we actually have plenty of water. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're back, and then Sarah just said, I'll be right back. Okay. But uh, anyway, uh, did I tell you? Um, or I did. I whispered you right there at the end. I forgot to tell you. Hey, yeah. Uh, I cut the pipe off as low as I could, so I'm hoping there weren't any other breaks lower than what I cut. Uh-huh. And capped it off. So in the morning, I'm going to turn the water on, and it's going to hold. It's going to be perfect. Uh huh. Absolutely. Then we're gonna get to shower and flush the toilet. It'll be a wonderful thing. Yep. Well, we've got snow melting in the bathtub. Like I've got three big tubs of snow, but it's not melting fast enough. <laughs> well, you know, there's a simple re to way to do this. You can always get it and put it in a pan, put it on the stove. Well, I've got it in the bathtub with a heater pan my, at it. Uh, there you go. That works too. Or I was going to say, or the microwave, you know. I got these three big, uh, you know, like plastic drawers that are the size of dressers. Yep, yep. I got three of those full of snow and they're sitting in my shower. I've just got the heater pointed at them, hoping it'll melt by morning so I can flush these toilets. All right. Cue us up. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry. I know it looked to me like right when she got back. Yeah, I've got to wait for uh, insurance here because my roof started leaking. Oh, yay. Yeah, that sucks. I was just telling my my pipes decided, my one pipe decided a pipe to uh, burst this morning. Not in the negative three, but in the, the 20 degree. Oh, that sucks. 
Sometimes, though, that's how it is. I think that's what it is. Like you said, when the water started warming up, it yeah, it starts moving around. Because when I was coming out of Gilmer Brookshire's today, they have a pipe on the side of the building that was starting to leak some water. Temple of Jade Serpent. Temple of Jade Serpent. Not the assault on... Not the tree one. I don't like the tree one. Does anybody, somebody share the quest? I think it'll give it to me as soon as I get in. Oh, never mind. I've got it. Yay! Go. Yay, yeah. Temple. This one's fast. Somebody share the quest? I got it. Okay. I thought I grabbed it, but I didn't see it there for a second. God, I haven't been in here forever. Damn it, I keep forgetting to reset my talent for dungeons. Oh, well, it's not like it's that hard. I'm not too worried about it. Hello. So. Hola. What you doing there on your road? Uh, we need to, we're doing three more time walking. Oh, uh, gotcha. I'm not thinking. I'm not trying to pull them Why aren't you healing us is a better question. Uh, you want me to bring it back to you? I can. I just hate having no room. That's the only reason I don't yeah. like it out there. I got gotcha. you. Didn't he just pick that spot? What I was just thinking. I thought they went to each of these. I didn't know they got to pick the same spot twice. Would they go back and forth? Need to get your, uh... Let them wash over. Whatever. Sorry, go to your pet's just over there. Doing nobody any good. I don't know why he's over there. <laughs> they do that. He's gonna beat the crap out of that out of that shell though. <laughs> I know, it's like they're determined to get in there. Rise. I think that's the last one. Behold the power of torrential waters. Do not run. It only delays the inevitable. The water's fine. <laughs> Let them wash over. It's one fifty eight gear, it's not worth waiting for. They'll mail it to me, right? Yep. Yeah, I, I tried to figure out if it was going to be an upgrade earlier, and it's no, it's not. I hate that they don't make this speed boost last longer. So how tanky you feeling? I think I can Jade Lightning. 
those guys over there like we used to in the old days? I'll give it a go. I got cooldowns. <laughs> I can. They're coming. And they're bringing the entire walkway. Yay, here comes Floor. <laughs> hey, I, this is this used to be the way. Alright, I love this dungeon. I'm asleep. Fall before your masters. You there, in the rafters. My sacred library has become possessed by the Shah. No, I still, no, still got to go around. We got one more shot over here, too. I forget he doesn't pull. He's, he's, he's just uh, like in his own world. From every of these Reading a good book. Them, them. I beseech you, kind strangers. Young old, I don't want the stupid sun ones. Before our cherished history is erased forever. Dang it. <laughs> you asked for it, Miss. If I am not mistaken. Hey, we got lucky the last time we ran it, me and you snake. I, I did get the uh the young goal, the, the two strife and I don't remember the other one. Long ago there were five suns that burned brightly in the sky. When the winds blew, their intense heat caused great wildfires. Crops wilted, villages burned, and families wandered endlessly to seek refuge from the flames. I can allow this no Sorry. longer. The fire so much chatting. In the library. Please, heroes, purge this evil before the temple crumbles to ash. Must have dulled my senses. Mirages, all of you. Zhao has become corrupted too. Please, fight him with dignity. Zhao is a full champion of us. Oh, sad it is. I'm guessing that was a uh, touch of death. Yeah. I am relieved to see justice served to this memory. It was a good Apparently. one. Apparently. Apparently, he was very touchy. You have given peace to this sacred. What's funny is I don't remember pressing touch of death. I require meditation before I begin uh, restoration. I might have actually have keybind at the perfect time. You think that works? This is English. Hello. Well, I thought you grabbed him. Uh, I was waiting to get a few of them down at least. So you're going to be on any this weekend? Maybe we'll run some Mythic Pluses Con? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not even going to be able to get to work Saturday, but maybe Sunday I'll be able to get out. Because my car's still stuck halfway down my driveway. I gotcha. So that means you'll be around Saturday? Is that what I'm hearing? I should be. Is she bu 